Dean, how, well, he's so complicated. How can you sum someone up? He's like a ball of energy. He's like, uh, it's like potential. I can see in him so many different like possibilities. He has such a passion to help people. He has a passion to do something. I think he really wants to change the world in some way. So when I see him, uh, actually when I, when I see Dean, usually I laugh because the first time I see Dean is usually in the morning in his small pants, singing and eating one of his giant, <laughs> but like crazy healthy bars. Duncan is an English fellow who amazingly lives only 30 minutes drive from my house back home. I didn't, I didn't obviously know him before he came to Japan. We met over here because we have a mutual love of martial arts. I do Taekwondo, he uh, does action and a lot of Chinese martial arts. We met together at a stunt workshop. Uh, I found out not only is he ridiculously handsome and mookie mookie, which means mostly, he's, he's also really, really talented as a video editor and graphic artist. And it was just the most incredible timing. We'd just finished shooting our pilot and we were thinking about who would cut it all together and Duncan just walked into our lives and it was a match made in heaven, you know? The adjectives that I'd use to describe D are... Free-spirited Strong Funny I wanted to sum him up I would say, yeah, he was energetic Super positive And crazy <laughs> really favourite moment with Duncan where we're in uh, Omini Okugakimichi, which is really difficult to say, and we're up in the middle of the mountains, we did a five day hike. Um, the other two members of the team at the time dropped out on after the first day because it was so physically difficult and we had basically five days to do a ten day course, so we had to cover serious amounts of distance each day. And it was that point where I realised just how tough he was. He was he was equal in me on every footstep, right, and no matter how hard it got. And uh, being alone with somebody for four days in a situation which is really intense, carrying like a 15 kilo bag, walking for 16 hours a day, being completely physically wrecked and running out of water. And there were, there were times actually where it got a little bit hairy and it, even lives were in danger because we made mistakes on the course because we couldn't read the Japanese. And being with Duncan in that moment was, um, we had a lot of, uh, great laughs together but also a really uh, also a strong emotional bond I think through getting through that together. But <laughs> there's one particular memory we were, we were it's really strange I don't know why it's really I find it really funny but we were climbing for five days on the Omini Okugaki route Michi which is a crazy like five day hike and we got to this last hut and we'd made a huge mistake because we had no water <laughs> and Dean <laughs> wakes up in the morning and he's so dry, he just, he's got no water whatsoever. And, I mean, both of us were, were struggling because there was nothing to drink. <laughs> and he just says, he's like, wow, cricket mouth. <laughs> and the look on his face, it's just classic, because I could feel his pain. So I was laughing my head off at that. I mean, in throughout Runaway, whenever there's something going wrong, both of us are just laughing our heads off. People might want to see people falling over and like crying, but most of the time, we just laugh. <laughs>